Jordan got me walking better Every day I'm shining cause he changed the weather Every day I practice so I could do better Been splashing for a minute, gotta keep my head up And I've been shooting jump Hey, it's your girl Monet and I'm back with another video As you can tell, I'm all dressed in my unitard in my palazzos um i don't know how this is going to work i don't know about copywriting or whatever but if i get copyrighted let's pray to god that i don't get copyrighted god knows what he was doing because he led me to do this video for you guys today so before we get started i just want to show you guys my dance closet <laughs> with all of my lovely dance garments inside of it i just want to explain to you um the meaning of colors with each garment i don't know about other dance ministries i can only speak for the dance ministry that i was a part of when i um was at my old church before i left a few months ago um our dance the minister over dance was very um adamant about teaching us the meaning behind dance like we she did not want us to get on stage and just be dancing out of our own flesh she wanted us to be on stage or be on, you know, in front of the congregation. And she wanted us to be literally ministering through our spirit, through the Holy Spirit, through our spirit to the congregation. She wanted our spirit to talk to their spirit and to connect. So she always made sure that we read our word. Every rehearsal, somebody would give the word um, to the rest of the dance ministry. Uh, we always would pray. There would be times where we didn't like choreograph a dance. We just literally would just sit in God's presence. And so I'm very thankful that I was able to sit underneath her ministry and sit underneath her wisdom and sit underneath her knowledge and just gain all the information that I've gained from her. So I'm going to share a little bit of that information with you guys. So let's get started. Let's go. My dance closet, it has all of my dance garments in it that I've ever um, had made for me. These are tailor made. We have, well, the old ministry that I was in has a seamstress and she tailor makes all of this stuff to fit every one of the ministers of dance that are on the, um, dance ministry. So let's start with these two. I don't know why this one is backwards. I have a real thing about certain things. Um, this is the first garment that yep, this is the first garment I ever got. It's green. Green represents healing. Um, I don't remember which piece this was, was, was for, but it's also green and it also represents healing. This piece was made for a warfare song. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like the camouflage look, the camo look or whatever. And it was made for a warfare song. Um, it was kind of like a heavy metal, heavy rock kind of warfare song. I don't remember the name of it, but I will have to insert that down below in the description for you guys. Then this garment here, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the story of Joseph and how he had a robe of many colors. This was like my least, I hope nobody watches this from dance ministry. This was my least favorite garment. I uh, wasn't a big fan of it. Um, some people liked it, but I wasn't a big fan of it. So Joseph had a robe made for him by his father and the garment had many colors. And so that's what this represents. And then also it represents the breast breastplate of David. Um, blue, a blue garment. And this one is backwards as well. I don't know why. There's a blue garment and blue represents the waters and the heavens. And then we have a gold and white garment and gold represents royalty and white represents the Holy Spirit. Why are my garments backwards? <laughs> I'm so sorry. This It's like a little irritating. Um, and then we have pink and pink represents passion um, with the white or no, I'm sorry, with silver <clears throat> and silver also represents the Holy Spirit. Please don't get me to lying about this, this turquoise one. I was told what this turquoise one meant and I totally forgot. But this one, we did our Onaga. Uh, uh, uh. Onaga, our Onaga dance, which was my favorite ministry piece. And then we have this one, <clears throat> which is like crimson and crimson Um, just pretty much represents the blood. Crimson would be red. If you are, I don't even know if I should be saying this. If you guys know like sororities, um, the deltas, they don't call it red. They call it crimson. And so crimson is just a red color and red represents the blood. And then again, gold represents royalty. And then I have another white and gold garment, which 
represents the Holy Spirit and royalty. And then this is my daughter's little palazzos. She only danced a few times and the few times she danced, they didn't have, they only had garments made once the few times she danced. But these are her little palazzos. And she said, mommy, I like my weekends. I don't want to do dance anymore. Um, and then I have a purple garment, which is, which represents royalty. And then my daughter has her purple, her little purple garment, which is falling off the hanger and also represents royalty. And she has the garment to match because we danced together and it was just like the best feeling ever. And then I have these. These are in the dance closet. They were actually out because I went outside with a few of the kids this afternoon for my daycare and um, just took them out in the backyard and, and used them. I'm not really good with flags just yet. But, you know, I'll get better. I can keep it here. And I can keep it. What's the other one I can do very well? This one right here. And then there's another one. Oh, this one right here. This is, this is, with this type of flag, this is the most I can do. With the, just the regular flag. These are angel wing flags. So with the regular flags, I can get a little fancy. My girl Jasmine over at Vessels of Power on Instagram, you know, she taught me a thing or two. She's my... She's my sister in Christ. She's my friend or whatever. And um, she gave me this flags. I won them at one of her dance conferences that she teaches um, or dance seminars that she teaches. And if you want to follow her, she's on Instagram at vessels.of.power. Vessels of Power on Instagram. However, I won't be using these today. You won't use them today. Um... So let's just go ahead and get into the video. Like I said, I don't know how this copyright thing is going to work, but if I get copyrighted, then I'll just, uh, let me move this. I have a prayer mat, you guys. I'm going to just move it out the way so I can have a little bit more space. Uh, hopefully it stays. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have a little bit more space to move and to dance. And hopefully you guys can see all of what you need to see. Oh, let me add a shirt because if Miss Tammy Lee saw me dancing like this, I'm really not supposed to be dancing without a garment on. That's just how I was taught. Um, I know that some dancers will dance like this. However, I was not taught to dance like this. But right now, I'm going to just throw this on because those garments are heavy and they get hot really quickly and I sweat a lot. And I'm at home and not in front of, well, technically I am in front of a lot of people. And right now I'm just rambling on and on. Oh yeah. Hood certified, Jesus sanctified. These teas will be dropping soon. Stay tuned. I know I said they were going to drop before. However, Corona hit and then I felt bad about launching something when people were going through hard times financially. But then I seen everybody else was just dropping stuff and everybody was buying stuff. And my humble self said, well, you know, people are probably just buying out of emotion. Maybe you shouldn't drop the tea right now because they're really probably just buying out of emotion and don't really got it like that. However... Sis is about to drop the tea because sis, sis, sis didn't go through all the work to make this tea and produce this tea for nothing, okay? So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Let's get this thing started. Forever. Come on, internet. Play with me. This is not a choreographed dance. This is just a dance that has been... I'm just winging it. No, I'm not winging it. I'm just moving as the spirit tells me to move. And so I'm going to do the song by Tasha Cobbs. Uh, you know my name. Yeah, you know my name. And hopefully my button stays in place because, girl, the middle is not finished yet. But okay. Mm -hmm. She knows my name. 
long time. Um, let me push pause before it plays the next song. Whew. Let me catch my breath out there. Probably should have brought some water down here, but I did not. So let me catch my breath. Thank you, Lord. Probably need my inhaler now, but I'm healed of that. So, um, thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Hopefully this video doesn't get flagged and maybe I'll do some more if I feel led to, not even feel led, if I am led to do something, um, Similar to this, then I will produce more content like this. However, today I was just led to do this. I was outside today, like I said, with my daycare kids. And Father God said, make it a video. And let everybody know that, you know, God hasn't forgotten about you. God still knows your name. Um, my sheep, you know, hear my voice. I know them by name is what the scripture says. And even in these hard times, we have to remember that it may feel like it's dark. It may feel like it's hard. It may feel like it's impossible. It may feel like you can't go forward. It may feel like, sorry, Jesus. And I only cry because this, this is my testimony that it was hard and it was dark and through suicide and through depression and through domestic violence and through it all through you know raising three children by yourself by myself um god still knew my name even when even when he was calling me you know today with the daycare kids we talked about samuel and how samuel answered the call i wasn't always samuel i, I didn't always answer the call there was a time where i would run when god called my voice and even through that Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And even through that, he still pursued me. He still, he still called me. He still wanted me. He still kept me. Um, because there has been plenty of times where I should be six feet under, you know, we're practicing social distancing now and it's six feet, but that six feet is, can be a totally different thing. And I'm just grateful for that I'm thankful that he has kept me I'm thankful that he's giving me the strength and the wisdom and the knowledge to um, raise my babies into successful babies which will probably be the next video coming I want to explain to you guys how to or give you guys some tips on how to raise successful kids because trust me I have three that I raise on my own and it hasn't always been easy. I have a child who has been diagnosed, but he is healed with ADHD. I have a child who had really bad um, anxiety at the age of like an infant. She used to pull her hair out and just trying to, you know, guide her into healing of that. And then I have a seven year old who is just who I and that's going to be a story time who I was had given up for adoption, but he's here in my life. And, um, yeah, and, you know, who, who sees his brother and his sister and, you know, he wants to be just like them. And so he imitates their behaviors and, um, how I got them just to be at the level where Christ sees them as a 11, I'm sorry, as a 12 year old, an eight year old and a seven year old. And so again, Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm about to go cry my eyes out. Hit the like button while <clears throat> hit the like button while I go cry my eyes out because Father God has been so good to me and I just need to give him his time that he's due because I don't think I've spent time with him today one-on-one, -on -one, just quiet time with him. So I'm about to go do that. I would advise you guys to do that too as well. Um, hit the like button, subscribe. I know I'm being redundant, but let me just get off this camera so I can give Father God his time.